Although I've not done a video solely on Bridget, I do have one planned, so look out for that in the future. Bridget was a Celtic goddess, and it's widely believed that the Christian Saint Bridget of Kildare was based on her, as they share very similar characteristics. Bridget was known for having a way with animals, and one day a friend of the monastery workman came to her with a sad tale, that the friend had accidentally killed the King of Leinster's pet fox, mistaking it for a wild animal. The man was placed under arrest while his wife and children begged the king to spare his life, but it was no use. The workman asked Bridget to aid him. Although Bridget had a love for animals, she still felt it was wrong for a man to lose his life in return for the foxes, so she set out to the court on her horse and cart. The journey involved taking a roadway through the woods, and due to the road being so narrow and rough, the horse had to walk. During the journey, Bridget prayed for the right words to use in order to save the man's life. Suddenly, she spotted a small fox peeping at her from behind a tree, and she had an idea. She ordered the driver to stop, and she called the animal over. Immediately, the fox sprang into her car beside her, and nestled itself in the folds of her cloak. Bridget stroked its head and spoke to it gently. The fox licked her hand and was quite content. They soon reached the king's castle, and the fox trotted after her. She found the king still in a fit of rage. He told her, Nothing in this world could make up to me for the loss of my beloved pet. Death is too good for that idiot who killed him. He must die as a warning to others. Let him die. He continued, It's no use asking for mercy. That little fox is my companion and my friend. That idiot brutally killed him for no reason. What harm did I do to this man? Do you have any idea how much I loved that little fox? I cared for him from the first day he was born. The king looked into Bridget's eyes and could see she did indeed understand and that she was truly sorry for his loss as she loved all animals. She beckoned the fox she found in the woods. The king suddenly forgot his anger, and he looked on while Bridget proceeded to put the fox through all kinds of clever tricks. The fox obeyed her and tried so hard to please her that the onlookers in the castle were amazed. She was soon surrounded by people laughing in delight. The king told her the sort of tricks his own fox would do. See, it used to jump through the hoop even at this height. Bridget's fox then began to jump through the same hoop. When the king's fox wanted a titbit, it used to stand on its hind legs with its four paws joined as if it was praying. Bridget's did the same. Once the king was completely calm, she offered him the fox in exchange for the prisoner's life. The king agreed to this, and even promised Bridget that never again would he inflict the kind of punishment on that idiot workman. Bridget was pleased, and the man was restored back to his wife and children, and she returned to her monastery. The little fox, however, began to grow restless, longing for her to return. He didn't care about following her into the castle, however, when she left the castle, it became a prison to the fox. One day, the king had left on business, and nobody paid much attention to it, and it waited for its chance, and when an open door was found, it made its escape back to the woods. When the king returned, he was furious. The entire castle was sent out to search for the fox. When they failed, the king sent his hounds to aid the search. This again failed, and the king summoned his entire army. It was no use. When night fell, they all returned, and Bridget's fox was never found again. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll return tomorrow and every day this month with a new one. Garmagut.